Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to speak about SysX and how to dump new patches onto your microcorg. I am making this video because I am now releasing my free microcorg sound banks in individual SysX form. And a lot of people have asked how to, how to dump these SysX files onto their micro. Now, the really cool part of this is this is kind of a universal thing. I'm making this to help out the people who want to use my sound bank, but this process will work with pretty much any other synthesizer. So if you have another synth other than the microcorg that are sound banks that you want to get onto that synthesizer and you don't know how, this video should help you. And as always, I need to say thank you for taking the time to check out this channel. There's a lot of people making synthesizer based content. You could be watching their channel. You are watching mine, supporting this work. That means a lot. Thank you very much. Now, the first thing you're going to need to dump new SysX files onto your synthesizer is a way to connect that synthesizer up to your computer. So you need a MIDI in and a MIDI out to your PC. I use an audio interface, which is the Focusrite 18i8, and pretty much any audio interface will work. Without MIDI out and MIDI in into your PC, you don't have any chance of having new sounds onto your synth. Now, if your synthesizer does have USB, this could make things a little bit easier for you. At that point, you do not need MIDI out and MIDI in because there is a USB input to your synthesizer and that makes life easy. I am making this video, as I said, from the microcorg and my users of my microcorg bank. And unfortunately, the microcorg does not have USB, even that newest model, which I think was a real big, eh. I think that new model should have USB. It would make SysX so much easier without needing an interface. But you can't cry over spilt milk. If you have a microcorg and you want my sounds, you are going to need a MIDI in and MIDI out to your computer. So once you have the MIDI in and MIDI out to your computer, once you have the connections you need to your interface, you are going to need some sort of program. And there is a 100% free program, which I use daily called MIDI OX. Type MIDI OX into Google or whatever search engine you use. And it is a very good program for SysX. And next to MIDI OX, I actually have my trance sound bank that you will download for the very first sound bank from my microcorg sounds. I will be releasing other sound banks soon, so keep an eye out for that. So once you have your synthesizer with MIDI out and MIDI in hooked into your interface and you have MIDI OX downloaded, then you have the SysX files from the synthesizer you wish to update, you are pretty much ready to go. You're going to want to open up MIDI OX, and this is the screen you're gonna see upon opening the program. The first thing you might want to do before doing anything is go to your options, check your MIDI devices, and make sure your MIDI interface is properly highlighted within the options. Your first time opening up, it might not be set that way, and then hit OK. And once you know your MIDI is properly highlighted and that you're using your interface for the MIDI, you want to go up to your view section here and hit SysX. This is your main SysX file where you can dump and send SysX. So you have those SysX files that you wanted to dump over to your synthesizer. At that point, you hit File, you hit Send SysX File, and you are able to search. Me, as I said, I have my Trance Bank, which has my individual SysX, and I click on the file I want. And at that point, it is sending the file. And as long as you had the correct wire connections from your audio interface and your settings had the proper interface highlighted, that should have dumped the new sound over to the synth. Of course, the synthesizer needs to be on in order to receive the dump. And most synthesizers have a little screen display. The microcorg does this with a little kind of circle that ch chases each other around the screen. If you have your synthesizer hooked up correctly and you double and triple check the wires, you check your audio interface and you, again, you send a file and it does this whole process and nothing happens to your synthesizer. At that point, you might want to check the instruction booklet and see if there's any settings on your synthesizer that you need to activate or deactivate in order to receive MIDI dumps. 
But overall, that is all you need to send brand new sounds to your microcorg or other synthesizers. Well, I hope to help some people understand how to send SysX over to a synthesizer. It is really, really very easy. The hardest part is getting the audio interface and the wires connected to your synthesizer. After that, if you have the files, if you have MIDI OX, it is really just a few easy steps to get those sounds into your synth. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to get around and answer them. I am not a quote unquote full time YouTuber yet, so I don't can't get around to answering every question, but I will do my best. And even if I can't get around to it, maybe somebody else who is watching the video will. As always, I need to extend a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys go the extra mile to support my content and it drives me to make this content more often more efficiently, and also push my music and content creation forward. And for that, I need to thank you very much. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.